Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. We are well underway for our third season. We jump into some Champions League action today. We are playing a championship team in the Champions League. Bonkers. Let's go destroy them. That is right, we are up against Southampton today. Southampton are not only in the Champions League, they're in the Championship. And alongside that massive game against Southampton, I'm going to give you a little bit of a deep dive today. We're going to look at the teams below us. So the youth teams, the under-21s, the under-19s, the B team. There's so many teams that we've got. And I'll show you the staff set that we've got as well. There's a few stars there who I've invested in, as well as players who I think will will see us through the next five to seven years. So let's start off with the development centre, where all the wonderful players are. We'll work our way down. We'll go for the under-23s in the squad. And really, I've not done much. Here, but there's one player there is one player here who's worth 12 million pound javier segovia he is a cam but he could be a very very good mazala on attack in the middle five foot eleven he's 16 years old i don't know what the potential is there with him he is the one we picked up from san felix and if you remember when we got him he was like a three and a half star He's currently five star and he's worth a lot of money. We paid bugger all for him. So clearly, whatever we're doing to train him is going very well. And he's he's suited in the under 23s. I don't know why he's there. We got Sergio Dutra, who's six for two. How much are we paying him? 700 pounds a week. Can I just get rid of him? Release and a free. 25 grand. No, 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 no. Uh, we do that for every player with skint. I got two goalkeepers. This guy is playing on the left wing. Sergio Dutra. Can I just check your form? Yeah, you're inverted winger, mate. You okay? Right, Sergio, mate. Um, I'm confused with that, but I'll sort that one off camera. Under 19s, let's move on to those. The squad is a lot more meatier with this one. And we've got the general sort of 16, 17, 15 year old. And there's a little bit of potential there. Remember now, this is relative to our squad. So some of these might have been five star at the start. Now they're obviously a little bit less. So Nelson Pereira, he was our first ever youth to intake when we started the save. And he was one of the best centre backs coming through. And I really like how technically brilliant he is. I just struggle to see with those physicals how he's going to be a very very good center back in this league ball playing defender he's technically really good he probably suits more of a defensive midfielder role just kind of sat there not moving much and snapping people six for two seventeen nelson i think will play some part in the future of vittoria other notable mention is 15 year old rui denise as a striker this kid has got everything to make it big pace composure like all in double figures a 15 He's only got four-star potential, so I think his cap, his ceiling is a little bit lower. But Rui, I think, will definitely get a game at some point for the first team. And then we'll take a look at the B team then. Let's jump into the squad here. There's nothing much. The B team actually is in a, a real-life league, and they can't get promoted to the top because of obviously, you know, it'll be conflicting, should we say. So Ibrahim Bamba is the best player there. He's, he's crap, and he? he's 21 years old. He does a job at that level. And the other decent one is Elias, who is a number 10, a proper number 10. He just doesn't, he's not good enough for our first team. He's a very good player. He would fit into probably some good League One teams, I want to say. But for us, not much at all. He's on £2,400 a week, though. So maybe we should be looking at to bring him more in line with the first team. Because he can play in lots of positions as well. I'll have a think about that one. And of course, he was kind of, there's nothing yet. That'll come through March time and... We'll find out prior to that January time if we've got another golden generation, which we've had for the last two seasons, which is is broken. Golden generations, ignore them. They don't exist. And then the staff. The staff. This is where we sit. The problem I've got is that I don't have a lot. We've got seven coaches, which really isn't a lot for an elite level team in an elite league. By the time you factor in the assistant, the fitness and the goalkeeper, you got four specialists. I like, like having specialists in my team. So the, the players we've got now, we've got two fitness coaches, two goalkeeper coaches, two normal coaches, and then we've got the performance analysts in here. The coaches we've actually got are Mr. Closer, who's very good attacking, mentals, work with youngsters, people management. So he is a specialist in areas. He's crap at others. The other coach who's been here a little while now is Hugo Silva, and I need to get rid of him. At 31 years old, he needs to go and do a different job because he is not very good. In fact, we're going to do that right now. And we're going to replace him with this guy, Yanni Ferreira. Let's get him in the door. Very good defensively, very good technically and tactically. I like him. Can we afford him? Of course we can. Five and a half. Oh, we can. Let's get him in the door and then we'll swap him around for our boy Wonder, who in fact, we're just going to 
terminate his contract now so there's space there so i don't mess it up when it comes through so i'm glad we've done this this has been a fruitful activity i'm doing work on the bounce scouting i i'm a little bit delusioned disillusioned with scouting because i feel like it adds nothing to me apart from adding players into a, a pool but I do that myself. I do all the scouting myself because I enjoy it. I don't feel that it really benefits it in terms of like getting knowledge across the whole of the world. That does benefit a little bit, but this one, not so much. So there's your deep dive into like the under the hood stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. And like any questions you got, anything you want to see in the club, ask. Like I'll happily show you anything like the club vision, finances. We can do deep dives into anything you want at all. And I'm happily going to run through it. Now let's take a look at the schedule, right? Because this is where we are. We are at the end of October, near enough. We've had a good couple of months and a couple of horrible hiccups. So sad, 2-0. Crap. Porto, 2-1. Crap. Wasn't this like a last minute goal? No, it wasn't. They just beat us. To be fair, that, that was a crap performance. But we went down to Porto, who I said were going to be a better team this year. And they are decent, to be fair. But we, we need to beat them. We should be beating them. And aside from that, we've been doing very well. Like, standout performances, right? Benfica, 4-0 at home. Destroyed them. If we look at the competitions page, okay? Champions League. We've played two in a very, very tough group. Leipzig are down the bottom. Atalanta. They're the two teams we played, by the way. The two stronger teams battered them southampton today if we win that we're pretty much through i'd argue portuguese cup and the portuguese league cup they're coming on nicely and the league even though we're in fourth we've got a game in hand above the top teams which will pull us very close within that conversation so it's going to be a very very close season indeed taking a look at the squad and i i should add now there's been no other signers the last one we brought in was mr ampadu on loan who's not really performing that well play of the season so far is consists who wants a new contract and considering we're only paying him four and a half i'm going to give him one i've learned my lesson i have i promise you from losing players now so i want to keep this boy happy because he is a wonder kid he is amazing and i don't want to leave him he could be in this club for 10 years he could be an actual icon i want him to stay so francisco consists you will get your contract there's also one more superstar player for the future in this club that i've not mentioned yet and that's ruben alves he is another product of our youth academy and i've actually put him in the first team he's dropped to four and a half stars which worries me he's on 150 pound a week which is pennies and he's okay. I started playing him out on that left-hand side, cutting his side as an inverted winger. And he's got gaps galore. Marking a one, tackling a one. Don't ask him to defend or jump. He, he can't. He's basically a slug who crawls around but he, he's a fast, a fast slug who's aggressive and brave. So he had his debut in the Portuguese Cup and he bloody scored. He rocked up with a 7.1 average, so I'm super happy for him. But anyway, we digress. Let's get into the Southampton game and see if we can get into the knockout stages of the Champions League. And the team we're going to run with today because we've got a few injuries creeping in, especially at the back. We've got Semedo, Berevkovic. Topic is coming back to fitness. He had a bit of an injury. And Chirinov... You're going to come in, mate. I don't know why you're off there. He is, I'll show you now, right, as our inverted wing back on attack, he is improving. He was an orange, and now he's a, like, what is that, like a, a baby poo green? Probably the best way to describe it. He isn't improving, really, apart from his flair, which, you know, as a left back, that's, that's the first thing you want to improve. I think he will get better, and he's still great for me right now he's rocking in a 7.42 average i think I th i'm just trying to prove myself right that's all i'm doing all season so the start in 11 varelin goes chilling off sacco ampadu drops back instead of barovkovic and mummin is also there in fact faria he's not fit so we're not going to risk him or should i share i tell you what i'm going to do shares up there Ampadu's in there and faria's in there look we've invested money in this kid he's 18 he's amazing he's going to be even better these are the games he should be playing does he like big games does it say where are the big games mentality it's obviously not there forget it forget it but you're on hugo so varela chernov mumin faria sacco and badu share almeida pepe consiso satriano super happy that satriano i've noticed he is very very good but where is stupid nan had a goal a game literally a goal a game for the last two seasons he's dropping a little bit short for that he's playing well and he's in a new team so we'll give him time to develop but stupid nan yeah he, he was good wasn't he okay here we go come on boys let's encourage them immediately right, we are like eight minutes oh we got a highlight here we go i want to get rid of these I, I find like we don't see much of the pitch in this view like there's a lot of things that i'd quite easily hide Pepe has scored. There's me chatting about the view. Come on. We're 1-0 up after eight minutes against Southampton. Once again, the championship team in the Champions League, which is amazing. 
ball comes through, well win by share, consists out, gets it through to Satriano, turns, full 360 into Pepe, go Lazio. I'm going to change the skin because I don't like these two things on either side. They, they bring the pitch like that, don't they? It, it's horrible. Ward Prowse, 20 free kicks. Yeah, mate. 20 free kicks, all right. Satriano's through. Good save. 1-0 after 10 minutes, and we are battering them. Fair play, as we should. Resulting corner kick. I made a good ball, my min. Shut it, I'm better, mate. Jesus, free header. Okay, 25 minutes. The boys are doing well. Walker Peters from deep into Stuart Armstrong. Lose it media. Chernanov, that brilliant defensive player, into Satriano. Does another 360. He loves a 360 assist, that boy does. But they're going to break forward. But Mummin defends well. Good stuff. Highlight again. Chernanov outside the box. Back to Ampadu. Chernanov again. Can he skin his man? We are doing more 360s than a Billy Skate Park at the moment. Look at this. Chernanov. Chair. Oh, lovely. Put the ball in. Good ball. Satriano. Consiso. The flag is up. But that was close. Oh, is it off? Surely not. Ref's not said anything. It is a goal. We're 2-0 up against Southampton. And this is pretty much us going into the knockout stage of the Champions League against the big boys. We are well in over our head. Definitely. He was nowhere near offside. I'm pointing at the screen here. And his flag wasn't up. I was imagining it. Okay, 40-minute highlight. Fraser Foster just gives it away to Faria, who's out very wide. Consiso, back to Faria. Don't lose it there, mate, because we've got two against two. Mummy, oh, that is so composed. Oh, I tell you, I love the style of this play. If you've not downloaded this tactic, it's on the Scout website. I've done a video on my channel. And if you want to play football as beautiful as this, please, you know, go and look at that video, download it, try it out with your team. Bonkers. Bonkers. Look at this. Touch. <laughs> Such a good goal. Just watch it. Almeida, one touch on the volley. Keeper planted. 3-0. 41 minutes gone. I love this team so much. It's not offside. Let's let's get rid of that. 44 minutes. It's not going to be 4-0. Sacco flicks it on. It's a handball. This might be 4-0 now. Keeper, you can stare at the spot as much as you want. He's got a VAR. It's awarded. Come on. Who's on penalties? I wanted to be our striker. Stupid Nan got lows last season. Satriano. Come on, mate. He's on the score sheet. It's 4-0, and it's just about half-time. What a team. What a bloody team. Now, the beauty is now, at half-time, 4-0 up, I can make some substitutes and rest some boys, which I need to, because fitness is on the floor. Sacco can come off for... Oh, you got nobody to bring on. Maybe Fernandez. No, you're going to have to stay on, mate. Ampadu can come off a handle. Who else can we take on? Stupid Nan. Have a run up, mate. Definitely. And then maybe Thiago can come on for Cher, who's not actually performing that well. I know what you're thinking. Why am I making three subs then and there? What if you get an injury? Yeah, balls to it. Long throw. Who's on it? Churling off. Did I train him on the bullet throw? I'm training my wing backs or wingers to be very good at, oh, unlucky, um, long flat bullet throws. It was super overpowered last season, and I've had a bit of luck so far. I'm still working out how best to, to set up the set piece for it, but it's working well. Handel now, back to Faria. This has been a bloodbath, to be fair. Pepe on the ball. That's not a great ball, and they mop it up rather well, and then lose it. Yes, they do. We're so good at recycling the ball. They don't keep the ball for long, they don't. Even though we're losing it quite bad at the moment. Genuinely, it comes up this hoof ball now, now, and then we win it. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, bollocks, oh, bollocks. Ignore what I said then. 60-minute mark, another highlight. Stupid and Oh, what a lovely knockdown. Thiago hasn't got the pace. Oh, that was a terrible pass. This second half has been incredibly scruffy, but look how good we are recycling again. Lovely balls through. He's going through. Pepe... We've lost the ball. We must have like a pass completion rate of like 3%. It's running at 82%, which is quite low, to be fair. It's like one in five passes we've we've lost. This is still a highlight. Stupid Nan is through. Come on, my boy. Our boy Stupid Nan gets a go. Come on. 5-1. Love him. Come on. Another highlight. 65 minutes. God, this formation will give you highlights for sure. Walker Peters on the right. Gets his head up. Goes nowhere. Diallo, oh, keeper, is he off? Is he doing that thing again when he's pretending to lift his flag? It's 5-2, it's keeper fumbles it. Terrible. 72nd minute, a highlight. Armstrong to Redmond. This is, I don't if they score again, I'm going to get a little bit nervous because it'll only be a two-goal swing then. Diallo, out to Walker-Peters. He's got acres of space. 
keeper that, that was the most dramatic catch i've ever seen he could have caught that but he did a batman oh they're gonna come forward again ball is through right now and adam armstrong is gonna keep it in no man's land keeper what are you doing how is he on a 7.3 sweeper keeper on defend get the hell back my god oh 20 minutes 15 minutes or so two goes oh it's another highlight oh god no not like this Perode, ward prowse shea adams armstrong right churning up that's it Don't, keeper you're on you're on short passing Perode, oh they're gonna score aren't they somebody's gonna score nathan redmond cuts inside back to Perode. they've got options there's two against two up in the middle look oh I'm, I'm not enjoying this well done no not well done redmond he's gonna get the ball in Perode, armstrong clears it pepe win it oh I don't like it. I know it's going to be 5 4. I know it. Che, back to Walker. Oh, we're going to lose this game, aren't we? I don't like it. 10 minutes to go. Surely that's it. We're not going to concede three goals. Three minutes to go. Highlight. Faria on the ball. Sacco. Handel. Stupid now. Lovely play. Right. You've got bodies in the box. Put it in there. Handel. Concesau. Pass. Oh, he's gone all the way. You greedy little boy. And that is surely it. 93rd minute. They can score from here if they want to. Or are we going to break? It's three against one. Pass. Come on. Pass inside. Oh, what's he doing? What are you doing? Three against one. He chips it into the keeper's hands. Oh, right. Ref, blow it up there, mate. 93 minutes gone. Redmond's coming forward. I, even if they score now, they're surely not going to... Oh, it's a great snap from behind. What a tackle that was, my boy. And that's it. 94 minutes. Small bones. Diallo. Unlucky, mate. That was a hell of a shot. But that's it. Come on in. There it goes. Get in there. Huge win. Huge win. And do you know what? It's the fitness that screwed us over. No wonder we struggle so much. We are knackered. And the beautiful thing about playing the Champions League, when you win a game, they just give you loads of money. £2.39 million. Who got sacked? Oh, of course, yeah. So, sorry. Sorry, mate. Yeah, but that £2.39 million. Take a look at our finances. Bonkers. That that is one very steep cliff. We're on thirty-four million pound. We're just making money for days. And then taking a look at the competitions. Oh, are we through? Surely, if we're, we're like eight points clear of them with three games to go, so we can't be. We're only halfway through, but we need one point to qualify. We are near as enough. Damn it, through from Group D, which on paper you could say it was a tough one that is not bad that is not bad at all none of our players feature in the player stats which i'm okay with because we're just bossing this group super proud of that so next episode we are going to shoot forward yet again we're going to get all these league games out of the way the champions league group we're through look let's let's chalk that down as into the knockout and that's when we're going to come back so that'll be kind of like end of january february time i think for the first knockout round and we play the two games on camera so that's going to be the plan we'll zip through I'll cover some transfers because we do need some backup for the defenders and we'll make sure we get that knockout group on camera so as always if you have enjoyed that please hit the thumbs up button if you're new to the channel consider subscribing if you enjoy that tactic head on to that video i'll put the link up there you can download it try it out let me know in the comments how it's gone and aside from that i will see you very soon take care